Professor Piketty has been in demand since his book, Capital in the 21st Century, was translated into English last year and became a bestseller and global sensation. Despite being nearly 700 pages and gorged with economic data, his visit is timely because Piketty is also an expert in inequality, which happens to be one of South Africa's biggest economic problems. Alexander Township in Johannesburg, long regarded as the oldest slum in South Africa, a stone throw away sentin. The financial hub of not just South Africa, but the whole of Africa. For the people of Alexandra, life is a daily struggle, characterized by crime, drugs and poverty. Moses Mbiza, a long-time resident of Alex, as it is commonly known, makes a living by selling fruits and candy outside his shack. He's lucky to make a profit of 100 rands a day. That's all his family of four kids have to survive on on a daily basis. Things are worse now. One has to keep trying, but it's tough. Sometimes I make 150 rand per day and sometimes 100 rand, but it's better than nothing. As long as my kids don't cry because they are hungry and they don't go out to steal from other people. Across the road in Sentin is a totally different world. Expensive cars, upmarket estates behind high security walls and manicured lawns. The kind of stuff that many dreams are made of. I think uh, it gives us a challenge because uh, we're staying next to rich people. Every day we're dreaming of being rich like them. And then, uh, yes, what do we wish one day we can be like them? It's not right that the rich are getting richer, but that's the way the system works. The, the monetary system was put in place for the rich to get richer and the poor to stay poor. So it's not much we can do to change it right now. That's out there. Yeah, and uh, hard work isn't really noticed anymore. It's like the more harder you work, you're not getting paid for your hard work, you know. So I guess that's also one of the negative points in our country. Interestingly, some sentient residents have no sympathy for their compatriots in Alexandra. Inequality is definitely growing, not just around here, not just in South Africa, but on a global scale. But I feel like um, that's the system. It's a capitalist system, and that's just how it works. There's always got to be winners and losers. It's just the way it is. According to the global NGO Oxfam, inequality in the world is growing at an alarming rate. It says the richest 1% of the world's population now owns almost half of global wealth. Oxfam says this small group of people will actually become richer than the rest of the world population combined by as early as next year. It's against this background that an academic book by French economist Thomas Piketty, which was published two years ago, has become a sensation worldwide after it was translated into English. Capitalism in the 21st century has now sold more than 1.5 million copies. The book tracks income inequality trends going back nearly three centuries. He argues that the best way to reduce the gap between rich and poor is through a global wealth tax and better regulation. Piketty's Nelson Mandela lecture and different talks across the country will undoubtedly generate a lot of interest, not just in South Africa, but around the world. Bongini Mutua, SABC News, Johannesburg.